Hey guys, getting ready to hook up to the kayak here. Thought I'd take a, a few minutes just to show you some upgrades we've added to it. Or if you're new to the channel, we'll just show you our setup in general. Do a lot of crappie fishing and catfishing. And I got this thing set up to catch about any catfish you want to catch. It's it's pretty heavy duty. And uh, as far as crappie fishing, everything's real efficient. The way I got everything set up, it works good for me. So let's show you what I got here. All right, guys, this is it. This is the kayak I fish out of. This is a Lifetime Teton Pro Edition. It's 11 and a half foot. I think dry weight, it's about 75 pounds. So not too heavy. Of course, the, all the accessories I have on it adds to the weight there. Uh, as you can see, I have mine sitting on a trailer. This is an old trailer I come by that had a John boat on it. And I just kind of modified it a little bit, set it up for this kayak. Had to do a few little upgrades like a new jack, new winch. Has new wheels and tires and lights on it. And I added these uh, rod racks on the back. Uh, the big white one on top, it's about 10 foot long. I can stick four catfish rods in there while I'm transporting. And the smaller black tube on the bottom, that's the one I keep my light pole right there on. I keep it in there, it keeps it from rattling around. Has a little clip in there. And uh, just some place to store it for when I'm transporting. But we'll start up at the front of this kayak and I'll just kind of give you a quick tour of how I have it set up for me. The front has a handle on the front and the back. This front handle, I have it connected to the winch, holds it down. I have a dry storage right here. This is basically my only storage pretty much on this kayak. I just keep my life jacket in there and I have a, a dry storage box in there. I keep some GoPro accessories, my registration, and excuse me, some other stuff like that. Coming on back, it has a track right here. I'm currently not using that for anything right now. It has a built-in GoPro mount right there. As you can see, I have my GoPro setting up right there so it can film me from the front. And uh, next, this is one of my most recent upgrades. This is a rod rack that I just built and put on there. It mounts to the tracks in the side of the kayak right there. Uh, on, my, on my sonar there, I have my navigation lights. These are battery powered lights. They're just kind of out of the way there. I have my hummingbird unit right there. Smackdown rod holders. Now these rod holders are the ones that they sell for kayaks. Uh, these are these four right here are the ones that actually use, uh, I helped design these for Smackdown catfishing. And they're, I forget what degree they are, but they're, they're set up to where you can uh, troll, spider rig, and it keeps the perfect angle on your rods if you're using 10 or 12 foot rods. But also they're heavy duty steel. Uh, don't hold up for some big fish. The biggest fish I've caught in this kayak so far is 40 pound blue cat. And uh, these rod holders held up no problem. Coming back, uh, got four scupper holes in it. If I need to drain water right there, this is my seat. I made some modifications on it. I raised up the back end right there because I just, I feel more comfortable setting up. It's more comfortable to me. Of course, I added a pad right there, a little extra comfort. Underneath my seat, I keep my cutting board. And uh, right now I have my catfish box in here. Just a little box that fits right underneath my seat. Just have my terminal tackle. Anything I need to, if I need to retie a rod or something right there. slides right under my seat, it's out of the way, but I can reach it real quick. It's got two more scupper holes in the back there. A cup holder right here. Now this is my transducer mount for when I'm running my electronics. Uh, all I have to do is flip it out in the water. And if I'm running down the lake, I will uh, flip it up because it, it does have a little bit of drag and slows me down a little bit. And I can lock it down right here whenever I'm transporting the kayak so it don't fall down. 
And moving on back here, it's got two built-in rod holders, one on each side. You'll see me using those for anchor fishing sometimes. I have a Plano crate box in the back. Up top, I just keep snacks and tools and stuff in. The bottom, that keeps my battery. It's got uh, four rod holders, two on each side. Of course, I keep an anchor back here. Has another track back here on the back. I added that track, it didn't come with a kayak. That's for my light pole right there. And it has another handle on the back if you need to pick it up back there. <coughs> Move around to the other side here. Uh, here's the drain plug on the side right there. It's got uh, these straps on each side to hold your paddle while you're out there if you want to put it on the side right there. This little tool thing right here, this is pretty cool. I found this at a fishing show in Knoxville, Tennessee a few months ago. It's made by Avid Angler. Has scissors, pliers, glue, and a chartreuse marker there, I guess, for the bass fishing guys. But it mounts right there to the seat. So I like that. I like having it accessible right there, but it's out of the way too. And of course, right here under my seat, I got gloves, scissors, and brush grippers. Got my knife stowed in there. This kayak has handles on each side right there. This is the power right here. This is a T24S water snake trolling motor. Has a high and a low speed, forward and reverse. It comes with an extension handle. I don't have it on there because I can't turn it as good with that long extension handle, so I just use the short handle. As you can see, it's stowed up right now. Now I run this uh, trolling motor and my Humminbird off the same battery. I have one of the smaller lithium batteries. It's uh, Amped Outdoors 18AH. I can run about five or six miles a trip before that battery plays out. So I can probably get, I, can, I know I can get six miles out of it pretty easy. Anything over six miles, I'm taking a chance on losing power. I've only lost power one time, but I, I went a really long ways that day. So I keep it in my storage crate in the summertime during this hot weather. It'll stay in the shade back there. It's out of the water too. And, uh, Keeps it cool, got where, got it where air can go through it there. So in the winter time, I usually keep it up in that dry storage up front just to keep it out of the cold weather. But that's about it, guys. It's a fun little kayak to fish out of. And like I said, I have this thing set up to fit my needs the way I like to fish. So if you want a spider rig for crappie, anchor out for catfish or troll or whatever you want to do, this little kayak set up for it. So uh, if you guys like the video, make sure to hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see this kayak in action, putting some fish in the boat, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the action. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.